hey guys welcome to our youtube channel where we get to teach you new stuff every day my name is sira and for today's video i'll be guiding you on how to set up and configure outlook on your machine so for starters outlook is a email client that helps you manage your emails that is sending emails receiving emails and also storing emails so once you open outlook it will bring you to this window where you're expected to fill out uh, your email information so i'm going to get right into it guys so i'm going to fill out my name because i'm setting up an account an email account by the name example i'm going to use that as my default name so Then I'm going to fill out my email address, which will be example at cfwatu.com. Then I'm going to fill in my password. And fill that in again. then if you click next here it will automatically set up an imap account for you but if you want to choose between imap and pop you can just come here and continue clicking manual setup or additional server type so i'm going to choose this radio button so pop or imap so before you decide whether you're setting up imap or pop you have to know the difference between the two imap in full is internet message access protocol which allows you to access your emails from different devices so you can access your emails using your tablet your phone your laptop or even your desktop and you can access them at any time so the emails are synced on all your devices so in case you're moving up and about you can be able to access your emails using any device at any time so pop on the other hand is post office protocol this is different from imap so in pop once you send out emails um, on one device they just locally are saved on your pc on the device that you've used and they're not synced to all the other devices and if you download an email from the server once you've set up pop it will just be accessed only using that device that you downloaded with and it will be deleted from the server so one action in pop will not affect all the other devices that you have your email accounts running on but in imap your accounts are synced so if you delete an email from one device it automatically deletes the same email from all the other devices so it basically uh, depends on your preference which one you would like to set up between imap and pop so for this video i'll be showing you how to set up both but i'll be starting with pop so after i've opened this window it will bring it will automatically fill in my name and my email address for me and then to set up the server information so here it's where you'll choose either pop or imap i've chosen pop3 and then for incoming mail server you're going to put in mail dot your domain name dot com dot com and then also for outgoing mail server you're going to set up that so key in mail dot your domain name dot com then here i'm going to use my example my username should be my full email address so i'll key example one at cfwatu.com that will be my username then i'll key in my password And then I'll go to more settings. I I want my email to be referred to as example example.tiafuatu.com. 
example at sefuatu.com and then I'll click at outgoing server ensure that my outgoing server requires authentication is checked this box is checked and then the radio button also should be checked for use the same settings as my incoming mail server then proceed to the advanced settings so if you're setting imap or pop you have to know the port numbers which you're going to use and in my case here i'm setting out pop So depending on whether you want to use um, secure connection or non-secure connection, uh, that depends on you, but it's advised that you can use secure connection, especially for traveling clients who would like to access their emails from various locations, even on a wireless hotspot. So SSL offers you, um, allows you to connect over an encrypted connection. But before you set up, you have to know the port numbers. For this case, for this uh, example, I'll not set up SSL. But in the next one for IMAP, I'm going to set up with using SSL. So the port number for incoming server should be 110. And then ensure that the this server requires an encrypted connection is not checked. And then for going server, the port number is 587 then this one should this um type of encryption connection should be none then you can check you can decide to check uh, leave a copy of the message on the server i want that checked and remove it from the server after 14 days i don't want that checked then i'm going to click ok once i've clicked ok i'm going to click next so this uh, shows if my um, configuration is correct so once both have checked green that shows you've successfully configured your uh, your email account on outlook on your machine but if the connection is not correct it will show a red x so that way you'll know that you haven't set up correctly then with that i've finished setting up my email account then click finish and now you'll be able to access your emails using outlook for your email account after that guys now i'm going to show you how to set up imap so instead of pop now in this example i'm going to show you how to set up an imap so already we have an existing account on outlook so if you want to add another account so come directly to file then account settings account settings and then we are going to add a new file so already guys here is the here is the email account we have, we have created this one example at cfwatu.com so we want to add another example which i've named as example 2 again the same procedure comes so fill in your name i'm going to key in example 2 as my name then my email address will be example2 at yafuatu.com and then my password I'll key that in and then key it retype your password again then head to manual setup or additional server types then click next choose between pop or imap but you're setting up imap then on this drop down menu i'm going to select imap then for incoming mail server i'll set mail dot your domain name And then for outgoing server, I'll still set up mail dot your domain name. For your username, still remember that it should be your full email address. So 
I'm going to have that as example 2 at tiafuwatu.com then I key in my password and then I head to more settings then I want my email account to be referred to as example 2 at tiafuwatu.com so there you're not going to make any changes then ensure that my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication should be checked and then the radio button should also be checked then head to the advanced tab so before you set up the server port numbers ensure that you know them and you know what incoming server should port number should be and what outgoing server port number should be so for this you're going to set up using SSL so SSL will ensure that Whenever you're traveling and you're, you want to access uh, your emails using a wireless hotspot, that your connection will be encrypted. So this will protect your email account. Your encrypted connection should be SSL. So the incoming port number, the incoming server will be 993. And then for outgoing server, this will be 465. Then ensure that this is SSL. Then do not save copies of sent items. I want my copies to be saved, so I'll not check that. And then purge items when switching folders while online. I want that checked, so I'm going to click OK. So this should be 465. Then I'm going to click ensure that all the port numbers are correct. Then I'm going to click OK and then click Next. If all the ticks check green, that means that my connection is OK and I have set up my email account. I'm going to close that and head to Next. So already I've set up that email account and here it is example 2 at siafuwatu.com with an IMAP stroke SMTP connection. The one that we had set previously was example at siafuwatu.com which shows that I set up a pop email. Now guys you can be able to receive your emails here, you can also be able to send out emails, delete emails depending on the connection type that you set. So, and in case you want to remove an email account from Outlook, you'll just come to this section of files and then click on account settings and then account settings. So, we already have three email accounts on this Outlook. So, I want to delete example 2, the one we've just set up for IMAP and I'm going to click on remove. So, are you sure you want to remove this? Yes. So example 2 at siafuatu.com is removed. That's it for today guys. I hope that you'll be able now to set up and configure Outlook on your machine. In case you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below and then we'll be sure to respond and answer your questions. Watch our videos, like our YouTube channel and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye guys!